I think how much do you take uh, make Thanksgiving a, a very special, it's an honor, versus just trying to treat it like another game? Uh, I, mean, I, think, I think it's big time you get a chance to play on Thanksgiving. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's another game. We got to go out there and execute. We got to go out there and get better. It's a division game. It makes it, makes it that much more important. So, you know, we just got to keep taking uh, steps steps forward as a team. Why do you think you guys are so successful on third downs? I think we're successful on third downs because, you know, we always stay ahead of the downs. You know, we get a lot of third and short, third and minutes. We're not putting ourselves in situations where it's third and long. So, I mean, when you, when you put yourself in situations where you're – you don't have to go out when it's 39, 30, 10, and each other you better make, make, it, make a good, good pass, I think, and make, it makes it a lot easier. See, how is this different for you? You grow up watching Thanksgiving football, and this week you're going to be part of Thanksgiving football. Uh, I mean, I guess you go out there, you're playing this time. <laughs> I don't know, it's not really, but that, that's the only way it could be different. <laughs> Do you have any memories of Thanksgiving football watching it with the band? Uh, no. What do you remember most about the last game against the Redskins? Um, I remember we, uh, you know, we, we were playing pretty well. I remember I had some ball security issues. That's, that's my biggest memory. So, I mean, that's when, obviously, a focus every week, but definitely uh, even more focus coming this week. You know, even seeing uh, 24 go out there and get a, get a strip late in the game uh, on Sunday night. So, you know, just something you got to focus on, something that you're aware of. How much have you grown from that game? I think as a team, we've grown. Uh, a great amount. And, uh, I mean, I think we're a, a way different team, but I mean, more in the same, same case, you know, as the season goes on, you're going to get better, you're going to play more together, and you get more chemistry. So, I mean, it's going to be a good matchup. What sort of drills do you do to help with ball security this week? Uh, not really any drills, just focus on, you know, locking the elbow, keeping your wrist above your, above your uh, elbow, elbow, and uh, I mean, just. Mental, mental, mental focus is on keeping that ball tight. I know you won the game, but how tough was it to, to be replaced in the fourth quarter after that moment? Did, did that burn you or? No, nah, I mean, we go out there and get wins. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's the goal, we go out there and get wins. I mean, whatever has to happen to get a win, that's what happens, I mean. But you made sure it wouldn't happen again. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's my job to take care of the ball. We're, we're very close, you know, we can be honest with each other about everything, you know, he, he's, he's, he's been very instrumental in me making it through this year, and uh, whenever I'm going through anything, like, we can go and talk about it, and, and uh, he's a guy that, you know, he's going to push me, he's keep pushing me every week, week in and week out, you know, helping me develop, and, you know what I mean, he's been great for me. Why do you think you've delivered so far as a Um... I mean, I think just uh, the situation I was put in, I was put here with, with a lot of great players around me. Uh, I think, I think that and just uh, my 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 competitiveness, just my my willingness to want to go and compete. Dak seems to have the uncanny ability to find open receivers, running backs when you're open. What allows him to do that? What do you see him doing that, and how his reads go, being able to find so many different receivers? Uh, I mean, I don't really know much about the pass game. I think you're asking the wrong person. You know, I don't really know what the pass reads are. I just focus on, on my protections. But, I mean, I assume he – I mean, you see him in practice. He, he's a, he goes to work. You know, he, he uh, makes sure he goes to his reading in practice. So, I mean, I wouldn't be the, the right person to ask that question to. <laughs> no one asked a receiver. <laughs> How would you describe the competition in the NFC East this year? I mean, we got a lot of great teams and uh, a lot of big rivals. And every time, you know, you have, have this division of – uh, these divisional games are going to be tough and so I think we got a lot of competition. Back then we were talking about you were hitting, trying to hit your landmarks and trying to find your groove. Now you've hit your groove and what has been the difference? It's just a matter, matter of playing and because you've taken off since that game. It's reps. That's all it is. It's reps, repetition, uh, getting comfortable with the system and uh, just getting better every week. Do you find this notion that rookies at some point hit the rookie ball? No, I don't believe in rookie law. I think it's more of a mental thing. I think if you're a mentally strong individual, then, then you know, I mean, rookie law has never been even sound right. I mean, I just think that if, if you take care of your body, if you're strong mentally, then you should be fine. How much of the game was Sunday night did you watch? You watched the whole game? Uh, you talked about Josh Norman play. Yeah, I watched a good amount of it. How impressed with, with the Redskins? Are they, how much different are they from week two? Uh, 
down. I wasn't paying that close to two. I was having dinner with my family. Take how high are the standards in this offense? The guys in the room, players, and coaches. How high do you hold that? How old your standard as far as the way you play? Uh, we expect to be the number one offense in the league, so I mean, that's that's how high as we expect to be. You 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 talked about expecting greatness, and that's all you've known I'm from Ohio State. I mean, this this is what you're used to. Do you think you bring some of the attitude to this locker room? Those expectations of we're supposed to do this. Uh, I I think I do. But I think we all do. I think we all have that mentality, and that's why we've been successful because we all we go out to work every weekend. We, we expect to go out there and compete and dominate and win ball games. And so that's why this team is, is good because we expect to do what we've been doing. Coach Garrett said that the first time he ever saw you, really watched you play, was he was at that national championship or yeah, the national championship game. He was in the suite with uh, Emmett Smith. Has he ever talked to you about watching that game and, and how you played in that game and what he thought of you when the first time he saw you play? Uh, yeah, we've talked about it. I mean, I think that's more of a personal thing. It was to keep to each other, keep, keep between each other. <laughs> how much does that game have to do with where you are now, or is it more just that role that you got on? in that playoff more so than just that one particular game, that championship game? Uh, I wouldn't say just that game or that run is the reason why I'm where I am. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I was just part of part of everything. It was part of the plan. It was part of, you know, my story. Everyone has their story. Everyone has their plan. Everyone has their journey. It was just part of it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>